Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, we finished setting up our coal mine. And then we set up the train route to transport that coal to our processing area. We set up a coal processing uh, facility to create coke and coke pellets. And we are now belting the, those resources up to where we're going to start smelting ore. Now, one thing I did do between episodes, as you can see, I started to fill in here to kind of square this off to give us some room to work. I filled in here a little bit. We're going to it's be an ongoing project. And I did go ahead and I added a second line here of making coke pellets just to make sure that we have enough. Because we're going to be using these to fuel our furnaces. So let's go ahead and get things set up for how we are going to do iron. And then after we set up iron, we're also going to need to set up steel as well. All right, so we've taken care of all of this. We have the coal processing. We have all of the uh, sapphire. No, oh, excuse me. Sapphire being processed. So now we're up to this point where we need to actually make ore processing machines, which, as I mentioned before, I've already gone ahead and assembled the parts that I need. And let's see, how are we going to do this? Actually, one thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to split the iron ore. I think I'm also going to go ahead and put I'm going to put this Am I going to put that? No, 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 hold on. Trying to think here for just a second. Because we need both of these to come to where our furnace is going to be. But also this port part here is going to have to go to our other furnaces. Um, we're also going to need coke as well. So what I'm going to do is kind of use a bit of what's, what we could consider a bus method. So... We have the main line of resources coming in here, and then we're going to use splitters to break off what we need for this particular area. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to split the coke, and then we're going to put the coke into an underground belt. And then we're going to bring the coke pellets here and we're going to split the coke pellets and we're going to put the coke pellets in an underground belt. Okay. Now that's as far as we can go underground with the yellow belts. All right, so what we might need to do here. Is we're gonna bring this iron. I'm actually gonna slide it. Actually, hold on. Yeah, 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 that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a set of three of these ore processors to make processed iron. Right. And we're 
we're gonna need one of these. And I did go ahead and build some large electric poles. There we go. Actually, hold on. We're going to need to give some room here a little bit. So, like that. All right, so we then need to take the output from these three ore processing machines and feed it to a single blast furnace. Now, how much processed ore are we going to be making? We're going to be making 2.3 per second so we can stick with yellow belts for this. All right. Oh, I am running out of metal plates. I'm probably going to have to do another run back. Just drop you in there. Okay, so we're going to need a 3 to 1 balancer. So we're going to need a 3 to 1. There we are. Let's see, how much room would I need? Let's do it right here. Yep, definitely gonna need some more plate. Did not realize I was that low. Alright. So we are going to need... Three of these splitters, which we don't have. We don't have enough material for it. That's okay. I can... Fill the rest of this in. All right. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and keep this in like all horizontal, right? So the next stage is gonna be our blast furnace. which is going to make iron ingots from processed iron. All right, and then we need line of coke pellets and this line of coke and that will be what we need but we are out of plate so I need to go grab some more plate all right I'm gonna pause the recording I'll be back in a sec all right I am back so I went ahead and I made the splitters that we're gonna need. All right, there we go, right way. Okay. And we're actually gonna feed the coke pellets first. So we get the coke pellets in the fuel slot so that when I put the coke into into here, it won't put 
the coke into the fuel slot. It'll put the coke into the actual manufacturing slot. Because coke can also be used as a fuel. And yes, I do realize that I was just talking about lines of coke. Uh, hopefully YouTube doesn't flag me for that. <laughs> Alright, so. There we are. So now we should be making an iron ingot. Perfect. Lots of iron ingot. Okay, now things are going to get a little bit complicated. Because if we look at my recipe right here. Um, if we look at my recipe for molten iron. For molten iron, which is right here. We need two induction furnace Mark II's. I have it set up for a recipe to use iron ingots and silicon ingots. Now, we don't have silicon ingots. There is another recipe that just uses iron ingots, but doesn't produce as much molten iron. In fact, it produces half of the molten iron. So what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to set up a two-stage process for using iron ingots and silicon ingots when we have them and just plain iron ingots and you'll probably see what I mean once we're all set up so first thing we need to do is actually hold on how many iron ingots are we going to be pumping out here we're going to be making 6.7 which is half a yellow belt so we'll stick with yellow belts I'll go two. Make some more power poles. All right. So here we have iron ingots. All right, and it's going to come up here. How do I want to handle this? Yeah, let's do it like this. Here's our induction furnaces. Actually, this is going to be a bit further than I want to go with that. Let me just stick, stick this thing gets back in there. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I have two induction furnaces. All right. So there's our induction furnaces. And we're going to say we're going to feed them with iron ingot, right? And these are going to take the process that uses silicon ingots. And we're going to use stone pipe for the output. Now, what we're also going to do is we're going to say we're going to have an input coming in here. Actually, let's do it like this. Have an input coming in here. We need to give it a little bit more room. Okay, so this is going to be an input coming in from wherever we're going to be making silicon ingots, right? So these guys are going to come in here. We're going to say we're going to insert there. Give them some power. All right. Now, what we're going to do... So I'm going to set up a belt right there. And then I'm going to use some green wire to create a circuit network between these two belts. Right. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to say for this belt, we're going to switch it from enable to disable to read belt contents and say hold. So it's going to constantly send the contents of this belt to the network. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to say enable disable. And the condition for it to enable is if silicon ingots silicon ingots equals zero right so which means that there are no silicon ingots here which means there's no silicon ingots on this belt at all then this belt will turn on if there are silicon ingots on this belt enough that it's reaching here this belt will turn off and will basically force all of our iron ingots into these induction furnaces so we're not wasting them on the less efficient process right so then what we'll do is we'll set up two more induction furnaces right like that and then we'll bring oops, bring the iron ingots over here. We'll feed them. We'll get some power. And then we'll say use the less efficient molten iron process and there those things are actually going to operate and start making molten iron and i did not give myself enough room all right well that's fine now i'm going to do what i typically like to do which is i'm going to put a tank do i want to use just a small inline tank or do i want to actually like a full-on petrochem oil tank um, you know, we'll just use a small inline tank for now. All right, so we'll start building up some molten iron. Not a ton. Alright, and then what we need to do is we're going to need seven strand casting machines. Which I made seven, I think I'm actually only going to use six. But I need some more landfill to get the room that I need to do this in the way that I want to. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go grab some more landfill, come back here, fill this in, and then we'll lay down the strand casting machines. So I'll be back in a sec. All right, I'm back. And I'm kind of glad I've been pausing it for those, uh, those runs because I have been having a lot of trouble today with running into stuff with the car. So save myself that embarrassment. All right, we're going to make a pump. I'm going to stick that pump right there. And of course, it's going to need power. There we go. All right, so I grab myself some land fill. Uh, let's increase its size. I also went ahead and put a bunch of land fill um, in the car because. I just ran myself out. All right, but let's just see how this looks. Okay, so. Strand casting machines. So here's the line where it's going to be. Uh, 
Uh, let's make a little bit of room there. But we'll kind of keep it a little bit tight here. assembly machines I might make four not gonna be perfect ratioed um, but it'll be fine it'll make more sense all right so we're making iron sheet coils and we need some water for coolant so we need a water pump I realize that I'm actually running pretty low on pipe. Hmm. Ah, uh, let's see. Stone pipe to ground. Then I can make a bunch of stone pipe. I'll just hand make it. I'm trying to think, do I want to do this a little bit more room? Ah, I think we should be all right. Now, how far are these guys going to go underground? Let's see. Far enough. Perfect. Now, for here, this is just going to run like that straight. And then... Connect underground. There we go. And then how much of this are we making? 3.4 per second. Again, yellow belts are going to be more than enough to do this. See how much room I actually have. And then we're going to go ahead and say take uh, those coils out of there, put them on the belts, and Let's see, there's this. There you are, everybody has power. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run a straight line of pipe right there, and then connect it in. See, now these guys are not going to produce anywhere near enough molten iron to feed six of these strand casting machines. Probably will feed maybe three of them. We're going to need these guys to be operational to fully you know, feed these machines. That's all right.
Actually, three... Three of these assembly machines should be okay. Give ourselves a little bit more room here. And then let's put down... Three assembly machines. Need some more inserters. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to take the sheet coils and make them into plates. And what I'm probably going to want is a I think I'm just going to go with a silo, not a warehouse. Because then what we're going to do, how much of this are we making? We're making... We should be making a full belt. But I'm actually going to use a red belt. Right, and we have a silo. A few more power poles. There we are. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take those out. And I'm going to tell you to offset close. There we are. Alright, let's get some lighting in here. So that I can see what I'm doing. Looks like we are going to need the extra inserter. Perfect. Alright, so I think the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to move on from the iron. Iron's done. And now I have set up a production block here for steel. Steel is next. Because steel... I mean, do I have the steel process? Hold on. Because there is a steel process that also uses silicon. But I don't have it yet. I don't have a research for it, right? Steel... Oh. Advanced Steel Smelting 2. No, that's going to require the Science Pack 3s. Do we have one that uses silicon ingots? Okay, so we'll just... Advanced bronze smelting. 
Should probably just go ahead and grab these now that I actually am making iron. And I don't really need to worry too much more about running out of iron plate now. Now, that's not entirely uh, solved yet, because we have a limited supply of iron ore at the moment, because we're not making any. Because our sulfur is backed up. We can rectify that situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a sapphire mine. Up here. And it's going to use Uh, sulfuric acid. I was actually not going to use a lot. Um, we still have a hundred thousand sapphire ore down here. So I don't really need too much of that. Actually, I think the best option at the moment even though I really hate to do it because the sulfuric acid is just so valuable at this point in the game. Uh, is I'm going to have to flare off the sulfur dioxide gas, I'm thinking. Chrome smelting, not so much. Uh, Invar smelting. Invar could be useful. See, magnesium ingot. We don't really have any magnesium. Zinc smelting. Alright, so. Flare stack. Overflow valve. And power. Alright, so there we are. We're burning off our sulfur dioxide gas. And that has to smell really nice. Okay. So what that'll do is that'll start getting my sulfur moving. And then we'll start draining the sulfuric wastewater. And then we'll start actually... Making sapphire sorts, all sorts of good things. I need to add a couple of radars, so I'm gonna go ahead and manufacture those. All right. Yeah. So now we're actually starting to use some of the the ore here. We have tons and tons of ore. Um, we're probably gonna run into a problem with copper and the other stuff eventually. Okay, so what I think we'll probably do is go ahead and end the episode here. This is kind of a good stopping point. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and I'll start putting together what I'm going to need to make this um, steel process. Uh, we need some oxygen gas, start just making the, the stuff, and then when we come back, we will assemble everything into a steel production uh, facility. Alright, so, hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching, go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.